What's up everybody, it's Enes here. Welcome to another episode. This week we're in Hollywood Hills and about to tour this incredible modern home. This home was designed by Tom Kundig, has amazing architectural details, features, ton of gadgets around. In fact, this might be my favorite home we've ever toured here in Hollywood Hills. So we got a really good episode ahead of us. Now, specs of this home, we got five bedrooms, eight bathrooms, 15,642 square feet of interior space, built on a 29,279 square foot lot. And this property is currently on the market for $54,950,000. As always, we will leave more information about the property down in the description. And before we start our tour, I wanna to thank the listing agents, Rainey and Brandon Williams, and Nusha Hagenbuck for allowing us to tour their amazing listing and share it with all of you. Now, let's begin our tour. located at the end of a cul-de-sac on this amazing promontory and from the street level we have this gate opening up to the garage that's on the lower level which we'll turn a bit and we have a secondary gate right here for exterior parking and that opening also leads you to chef's kitchen and the lower level and now let's talk about this beautiful modern architecture vertical steel panels complemented with this massive board form concrete wall right in the center again it's a beautiful modern architecture we have this walkway right here that takes you to the main entry and as you come up to the entry we have beautiful limestone floors everything is nicely hedged and this is really interesting we have this freestanding steel panel in this gorgeous orange color same with this covered entry again all steel that cantilevers above the front door and now let's go inside all right, everyone, here we are at the entry. Same orange color continues to the interiors, and as well as this uh, cantilever design that, that we saw on the exterior, brings that nice pop of color. And off of entry, as soon as you walk into this property, you're head, head on with these incredible views of the city. And we're gonna check out those views in a bit. But first, I wanna establish what we have on this floor. On my right-hand side, we have the formal dining room and formal living room. Behind me, we have the staircase going down to the lower level and the second floor. And right in front of me, we have the family room and the kitchen, and it starts right here. Same hardwood floors off of the entry is also here, wood panel ceilings, walls of glass looking towards the amazing views. On this side, we have these automatic sliding glass doors that stack on that side, opening up to the amazing patio space facing the views. And on top of that, we have these bifolding louvers on the exterior that serves as a sunshade, which looks incredible. And we'll talk more about them later in the video because they are throughout. This side we have the family room seating area, nice couch setup. We have the gas fireplace clad with this beautiful steel paneling. And this TV actually has an automatic cover as well. In case you don't want to see your TV, have that minimalist look, you can do that. Now on the other side, we have the same style sliding glass doors also here that are automatic, opening up to a patio space. And from here, we get the amazing views of downtown Los Angeles all the way to Griffith Observatory and the Hollywood Hills. And we have these floor to ceiling glass doors and they accomplish this look by having these I-beams columns set back from the exterior walls that way we can have these seamless panels that are automatic. Now on this side we have the kitchen, gorgeous cabinetry, nice contrast between the wood tones and the darker tones on the island and the base cabinets right there, massive island right in the center with natural stone countertops, book match right in the center, we have island seating on the other side. Again, from your kitchen, you'll look at the amazing views of the ocean, Century City, all the way to Wilshire Corridor. This is incredible. And on the island, we have a small fridge, your base cabinets, microwave, uh, small oven. And let's see, we have the main sink right here. And this island setup, I guess, for extra seating. And here's another unique detail about this kitchen cabinet design. Glass doors actually stacks on this side, kind of opens up the other side of the cabinet. So you kind of have this open design from your kitchen. 
yeah, you're flowing. I'm, I'm having trouble cutting in here for lines. It, 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 uh, there's a lot to talk about. We have in a this lot house. to talk about in this house. There's a lot of really cool details and like a lot of really unique, uh, really unique. I don't want to say architecture. Really unique like gadgets, gadgets. and yeah, like windows and details. We have some stuff in the backyard. We'll see in a little while that I've never seen on any other house in LA. This tour is not gonna be short by any means. We have no idea how long the final edit is gonna be, but we're gonna talk about every single detail because they're so unique. This has gotta be one of my favorite homes here in Los Angeles, uh, without a doubt. Now, let's continue. Of course, gotta have them. Gotta have them, Miele dishwasher right here. Same countertops. We love these details too, pop up plug. Oh yeah. Gagano induction cooktop. And I know we talk about these all the time. Is it time? I think it's the time. So there you go. We talk about these uh, coffee makers. Me and Mikey always say that these are our favorite. This one is actually a little bit more of the high end side, right? We have the seamless look of this kind of faucet design, I guess, and everything else is underneath the cabinet. And there you go. This is how you make your espresso. Yeah. Uh, it's been a long time coming. We've uh, gotten comments. We've talked about it. We've always wanted to make one of these. Cheers, everyone. The f first day we make one of these is probably the day you don't need any caffeine, though. I mean, it's, it's pretty good. And before we leave the kitchen, I want to come right here and I want to talk about this wine wall, temperature controlled with the leather pouches. Looks incredible. Yeah, it's really nice. Now, let me take you guys around while I'm drinking my espresso. We have the pantry space right here. And around the corner, we have the chef's kitchen. This kitchen has it all. Same style cabinets are also brought here that goes all the way up to the ceiling. And on the ceiling, we have the same wood tone paneling that again, warms up the space, all open shelving with the stainless steel countertop and the backsplash. First dishwasher, second one here with the first sink. And this door opens up to the exterior parking spot that we talked earlier. So in case you have chefs or caterers come in, they can come through this door without having to go through the main door. Your second kitchen sink is on this side, eight burner gas stove commercial vent, I mean, you have it all. And lastly, we have the Sub-Zero fridge here. And I think I forgot to mention, in the main kitchen, right next to the wine wall, we have the paneled in fridge. Now let's go back to the hallway. By the way, I gotta show this detail. We have these uh, seamless doors that kind of closes off certain sections of the house. This is one of them. And as we go back, on my right hand side, we have some paneled in storage. And before we go back to the entry, this is really unique. The steel clad, kind of a hidden door, opens up to a powder room on this level. I love the texture on the walls with this, I don't even know what kind of finish this is, but it looks so rich. You can see all the veins of the wood and you can feel the texture of it as well. And we have a gorgeous floating vanity design here that they use this stone and carved out the sink section that looks stunning. Yeah, it's incredible. And we gotta talk about this door a little more. This is maybe the coolest door in the whole house, and that's saying a lot because there's some cool doors here. Yeah, a lot of these cool gadgets and details throughout, and we're gonna talk about them. Now, let me take everybody back to the entry, and right on the other side, we have the formal dining room area. This room is all open, gets a ton of natural light, and it flows to the family room that is currently opening up to the backyard, which we'll see in a bit. But I really want to take my time to focus on this dining room area because there are so many cool details here. Number one, we got this gorgeous dining room table right in the center that sits eight people. Industrial chandelier above with this really unique pulley system where you can actually adjust the lighting. So the designer and the architect of this home, Tom Kundig, designed a lot of different gadgets and details throughout the home that has very unique functionalities. Also, right underneath the dining room table, we actually have tires because let me go around this way actually to show it to you guys. Yeah. Instead of going with some sort of a stacked glass detail, they designed these really unique doors that actually tucks above the ceiling and they're called guillotine doors. These doors allow seamless indoor outdoor flow and they carried out the same limestone flooring from the interiors all the way to the outside, which is amazing. And you open up this entire space to the outdoors. I mean, this is incredible. Now, I wanna go back to the dining setup because with the tires, you can actually move out your dining room table to the outdoors and you can enjoy it there. And let's say you're throwing like a 200 people party and you wanna leave this space all open. Well, if you have the lighting like this, people are gonna run into it. But if you wanna leave this space all open, 
just push it up to the ceiling and there you go. That's right. Oh, That's everything's thought out. Amazing. Now let's go outside for a second. That dining room table, you can actually carry it up all the way here so you can enjoy your dinners or your lunch outdoors. And owner was also very adamant about enjoying his outdoor spaces. And a lot of people don't know this, but Los Angeles, even during summer at night, gets pretty cold. So he wanted to place a lot of space heaters. Because he wanted to leave this section all open, he actually designed this with the architect, really unique arm that kicks out and swings right here on top of the dining room table so you can have a cozy and comfortable uh, dining experience. This is, this is uh, incredible. Yeah, I guess that just goes to show the, uh, the usefulness of planning, you know? If you have a plan, and a good architect. Yeah, so they had all the furniture, everything, all the designs in place before they even broke ground on this. Well, I mean, I'm sure they initially had some sort of a design, and as the owner's needs were, like, talked about, you know, they designed these unique gadgets to kind of complement all those details. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Amazing. And while we are on the outdoors, look at the amazing views behind me. I mean, that's downtown Los Angeles, Century City, Wilshire Corridor, all the way to the ocean. It's a little hazy today, but you guys get the point. We're quite elevated from uh, the rest of Los Angeles. Views are unbelievable. We have the first pool right here, Infinity Edge, simple plaster. And actually, while we're here, let's take a quick look. There's a really unique art piece right on the edge of the Infinity Edge pool. So from one angle, you can see a shape of a woman sitting down. And from this angle, it actually kind of disappears because they fabricated this out of a thin stainless steel. How unique is that? It's really cool. All right, let's continue with the gadgets for a second. We have the trellis design right above where you can actually have a motorized cover on top if you want to make it fully shaded. And talking about uh, enjoying your outdoor spaces, owner was really adamant about having space heaters. But when you have the space heaters like the way we see it right now, they're too far away from you to kind of cozy up the space. But these are actually on pulleys that will allow them to go four feet down and really cozy and warm up this space right here, which is amazing. Outdoor seating section here, and this table that's in front of me, it actually rises about a foot, foot and a half, so you can actually sit down, have a nice, comfortable meal, uh, dinner. This is amazing, another gadget. So it like doubles as like, a, as like a dining table. Correct. Okay, that's cool. On this side, we have this gorgeous bore formed concrete uh, fireplace, again, with the pulley system. Let me show you guys how this works. I love this. I love stuff like this. This is amazing. Yeah, it's really cool. All right, let me take you guys back inside. And right on the other side, we have the formal living room. Beautiful seating setup. Same hardwood floors that we saw on the kitchen side is also here, warming up the space and the same wood paneled ceilings. We can actually see it throughout. On this side, we have the board foam concrete fireplace. This is actually the other side of the fireplace that we saw on the outdoors, so it's double sided. Here's a really unique detail uh, that this fireplace has. On top, we have this transom glass uh, window where you can see the flues of two of those fireplaces, which is really unique. And on the second floor, those flues actually serve a purpose, which is even more interesting. So we'll talk about that later uh, once we get to the primary bedroom suite. Yeah, while we're here, you gotta pull those things again. I know. These uh, chains are so cool. But uh, there you go, that's the screen. And again, I love these steel, wood, concrete elements that we're gonna see throughout. Now, this floor literally seamlessly flows to this side of the backyard. Again, we have the secondary pool right there. Technically, this is actually like a two, uh, two pools. I'll talk about that later. But this section continues, same hardwood floors. We kind of have a small dining setup here and a wet bar. You have your sink, TV, and owner is really adamant about having everything look seamless. So these panels are actually automatic and you can put them down to have that more seamless look. And lastly, Mikey, I know I left the section. There are a lot of details in this house and I may forget some. I'm really cautious about it, but we actually have a projector that drops down from the ceiling if you wanna watch a movie. Now let's go outside, Mikey, for a second. Also, you see, I'm recognizing details already, not this one, boom. We have literally refrigerated drawers throughout the entire place. So this is one of them. Now, let me take you guys to the outside. Of course, these sliding glass doors are automatic. They tuck to this side, open up the entire space. This covered section right here, that's actually the primary bedroom, literally cantilevering above this patio space. And that primary bedroom is incredible. I think that's my favorite uh, bedroom in the entire Los Angeles, without a doubt. So it makes the space a little bit more covered. Right here, we have the bar shelf for this pool. 
This is the spot. Mike, I need you to get close here. There's a super cool detail. So we got a 75 foot pool here with another Baja shelf. And the owner didn't want to have that raised spy element. He wanted to have the seamless look. So in order to create that uh, heat separation, I think the spy is kind of turning on as we speak. He designed this $35,000 glass piece that is half inches below the water level. So you can kind of heat this section without losing too much heat to the main pool. This, How cool is that? This piece of glass costs $35,000. $35,000. It's, it's insane. And do you know why? I don't know. Uh, that's what I've been told. I guess it's just thick. And somehow spa is just working now as we speak. Another detail, you can get the spa up to 104 degrees while you have your pool around 80. So I wanted to mention that. Now this pool continues again, 75 foot. We have the secondary Baja shelf right here. Patio continues, but Mikey, before we go to that bedroom, last room that we're gonna to tour, I wanna to show this section real quick. We kind of missed between the first pool and the second pool, you kind of have this section right here that kicks out towards the views. And I wanted to point this out because from here, you can see all the way to Griffith Observatory, entire city, ocean, even Pacific Palisades. I mean, this is incredible. It's a little hazy right now, but you pretty much get even ocean views from here. Incredible. Now, let's go back. On this level, we have one bedroom suite, which we're gonna check out in a bit. And it's at the end of this hallway, right here. But before we commit to that, secondary staircase going up to the primary bedroom or the second floor. We have an additional exterior door access and this one opens up to a full bathroom. I guess this bathroom can serve as your pool bathroom because it has exterior door, beautiful floating vanity design with this ceiling mount mirror. And you can actually see the plumbing exposed underneath it. I thought it was really unique. And we have a walk-in shower right here. Now, as I go back, let's check out the bedroom we have here. Of course, we love these pocket door. Mm -hmm. Same hardwood floors continue. We have the full bathroom on our left-hand side, walk-in closet on this side, and it takes us straight to the bedroom here. Very minimalist decor. We have the king-size bed here. I like these wall sconces that serves as a reading light. Same wood panel ceilings, again, warming up the space, looks gorgeous. And I just realized they have a nice ceiling reveal detail throughout. And just like the rest of the rooms, again, we have these massive sliding glass doors opening up to the outdoors. In fact, let me open this one real quick. This is the end of the patio space that we saw earlier. Beautiful olive trees, your pool setup, amazing views. It's incredible. And that wraps our tour for this level. Now let's go back to the staircase and go check out the lower level. everyone here we are at the lower level now before we start our tour here I want to talk about this amazing steel staircase design we kind of have this screen design on the right hand side and these steel threads that looks like angle irons actually are bolted to the concrete uh, board from concrete walls looks stunning and we have these very elegant wood threads that was dropped on those angle irons the whole thing is steel clad and again, this board from concrete wall gives it a nice texture as you come down to the lower level. Now, let's go this way first. You may find this opening a little interesting, but this is where you would put your future elevator if you would like to have an elevator in this house. Hallway closet, laundry room, two washers, two dryers, ton of base cabinets and uppers. You get a sink, kind of everything you need. And as we continue, we have a utility room here that you can access every little thing you need. I love these rooms. It's a nice access to have. And this door opens up to the spacious guest suite or the maze quarters on this level. Small dining setup off of the entry and we have the kitchenette here. I say kitchenette, but this kitchen has pretty much everything you need. Your gas stove, microwave, uppers, sink setup, dishwasher, and your fridge. And this room was designed in a way if you have maids or people working for you in this house, they can stay here. They can kind of have their own kitchen and their own living room zone. Their own privacy. Own their privacy, exactly. Nice seating area, a TV on the wall, and 
Even though we're on the basement level or the lower level, we have floor to ceiling glass doors, again, stacking on one side, opening up to these really nice covered patio spaces that leads you to the lower level. I mean, we got so much more to see. We'll check out the grounds in a bit from the other room. Let's continue. Right around the corner, we have the bedroom for this guest suite. Starts here, Mikey, let's cover the bedroom first. King size bed, nice spacious room closets on this side and we even get a small exterior door that opens up to the covered patio that we saw and around here we have the full bathroom double vanity setup natural stone countertops your walk-in shower and i really like how they kind of picked up the same stone as the flooring here giving that terrazzo look now that's it for the guest suite let's go back to the landing and continue our tour right across from the staircase we have the wine cellar same design that we saw on the main kitchen with these letter pouches. They have it also here. This room can hold up to 900 bottles and I really appreciate that they brought the board form concrete walls also here. It's a nice touch. A board form concrete everywhere. Everywhere. A lot of steel, wood and concrete elements in this house. Now, around the corner we have the movie theater. But before we go in there, I want to talk about this. Uh, these switch details that we have. Switch plates. Uh, that we have throughout the house. Owner of this property wanted to have something analog, something that uh, worked a little bit more simple. There you go, we really just turn up the light. Really satisfying. And I love the sound these switches make. Yeah. So there you go, we covered that. By the way, those are from uh, friends. This is where we have the movie theater. Three tier seating, wall sconces on the walls. We got the projector above, lighting up this massive screen, built in speakers, and they have this nice comfortable uh, sofa designs that are also automatic recliner chairs. Do those things lean back too? They do a little bit. Yeah. They're pretty comfortable. I would love to uh, use these to watch a movie. I know. Another thing that we need to add to the bucket list, Mikey. If you were watching a movie in this theater, what movie would it be? Um, I don't know. I can use the laugh these days. Maybe super bad. Okay. I don't know why that movie came to my mind. I remember you and I watched There's Something About Mary and I've never seen you laugh so hard at a movie in my life. Yeah, yeah. that's also true. <laughs> Um, utility closet here. Briefly wanted to mention that. Let's see. There's a coat closet on this side and this is a powder room for this level. Beautiful fabricated stone with a nice tucked in drain design. Beautiful fixtures. Everything looks great. And as we go back to the hallway, this door opens up to something really cool. We'll see that in a bit. But I want to take you guys to this room. This is the game room. Now, where do I even start? I mean, this room is insane. We have this custom racetrack, a little bit of information about the owner. He likes racing cars, so he found this gentleman with a company named Slot Mods that builds these custom tracks. And he asked him which tracks around the world that he likes the most. And from those tracks, he took some like favorite corners or like famous straightaways and designed this custom racetrack that looks incredible. This thing is huge. What do you think, Mikey? Like 20 by like, yeah. 12, 15? Maybe like 30 by, by 15. Ennis and I were literally just talking about how long this would take us to build on our own. And I was like, like steady weekend working, this might take me like five to 10 years to build. The amount of detail in this track is incredible. It comes with the house. And let me show you guys this. We got all these cool cars. I'm gonna go with the uh, Ford GT here. And let's see, let's give it a quick run, right? Let's see, I You gotta make those electrical points, there you go. There you go. I mean, this is really nice. I'm feeling like a kid in a candy store. Look at the detail on this thing. I mean, it's insane with the logos, branding. All the little people. And there you go. There you go. It's incredible. And let's continue. Actually, we have a simulator on the other side. Probably even more incredible. I mean, talking about racing cars, it doesn't get much better than this. Yeah, I mean, I wish we could try this thing out, but. Uh, we got a tour to make. Yeah. Now, we have these sliding glass doors opening up to an, another covered patio space. Let's tour the backyard for a second. I guess lower yard is a better way of explaining it. We have this grass section here. Again, property is super nicely hedged. That's the guest suite that we toured earlier. Staircase coming down from upper level to this section here. This property has 40 olive trees that are 150 years old. Also, I really like how the owner terraced this entire hillside all the way down to the property line where you have this walkway that takes you up here. Again, covered with these beautiful olive trees. It's a nice walkway to have where you can enjoy it in the morning. 
or in the afternoon, you know, it's get really, the amazing views. It's really relaxing. Absolutely. Now we're going back into the game room because we have two more guest suites to see on this level. And then we're gonna check out the last room after that. Let's go this way. By the way, same switches throughout. And let's go to the one on the left first. We have the other guest suite here. Super spacious, king size bed on this side. And even though we're on the lower level, look at all this glass. You know, you get a ton of natural light, amazing views. You see the tops of the olive trees, automatic shades throughout the entire property. That's right. Yeah. And I mean, I really appreciate that even these rooms get sliding glass doors that opens up to a lower level. Bathroom here, double vanity, beautiful countertops, also used as a flooring down below, walk-in shower, everything looks great, very understated. And as we go back to that small hallway, let's go check out the other guest suite, which is on this side. We have this hallway lined with closets, Again, another really spacious bedroom. This one actually gets really good views. I mean, from your bed, you see straight shot of the Century City, Wilshire Corridor. I feel like, Mikey, we've been repeating Century City, Wilshire Corridor a lot also lately. We've been seeing a lot of Century City lately. Yeah, like, we've been in the hills a lot lately. Yeah, like I was <laughs> even saying, like, I'm getting tired of taking drone shots of Century City, you know, every episode. <laughs> every episode. <laughs> but I mean, on a clear day all the way to the ocean, I love how tranquil and kind of focused this side of the uh, houses. Amazing views, actually opens up to the car gallery from the side, we'll see that in a bit. And lastly, around the corner, we have a beautiful bathroom, pretty much the same finishes, walk-in shower, everything you need. Now, let's go back to that main hallway. This might be the coolest room on this level. I mentioned earlier, owner is a, a car enthusiast, we got this massive steel door, pivot door, opening up to the garage. Mikey, look at the size of this door. I wanted to do it in person so you guys can get the scale of this door. I look so little <laughs> comparing to the door. Yeah, uh, this, this is bigger than any front door we've ever seen. That's for sure. This might be the biggest door we've ever seen. Yeah, and it... It, show how easily it closes. You can do it with one finger. It's like, I mean, it's, it's so easy. There you go, one finger. Yeah. Like, you hardly need to put any pressure. Opens up to the amazing car gallery. Now, this car gallery is spacious. I mean, the detailing, lighting, how spacious it is. You know, board from concrete walls. It comes down from the street level and you have these polished concrete floors, seating areas, steel panel back walls. I just feel like I'm hitting these details. I'm, I'm kind of almost overwhelmed. And right above us, we have this massive light box design that lights up the entire garage. And the owner was kind of inspired by the 2001 Space Odyssey movie. Really? I was gonna say, I know our audience is going to say this is just like uh, Batman, Christian Bale's Batman uh, lighting they have in like Dark Knight and stuff. I can see that. I don't know why, but like, I, there's another YouTuber out there that has this for a studio, and I've always just thought this is the coolest looking lighting that you can have. Honestly, it makes everything look so much better, including the cars. Let's do a quick rundown. Uh, we got a Chevy Camaro, I believe, SS. I could be wrong on these cars. Mercedes 250 SE, like this thing a lot. We got an uh, E-Class station wagon. I believe that's Dodge, Challenger, Porsche, and a Ferrari 458. Good. Good. Uh, nice selection. Nice selection. There we go. Without, without a doubt. Now there's a part of this garage that I found it very interesting and different. Normally in a subterranean garages like this in the center, you will see a turntable, but owner wanted to take a different approach. Instead, he created this opening where you can drive in, make your turn and go enter from the other side. So you don't have to reverse in your garage. You can comfortably come in and get out. And this card, let's call it a car deck might have some of the best views we've ever seen in Hollywood Hills. Look at this. More Century City. Yeah. That's right. That's, I mean, <laughs> th this is amazing. And we kind of have the house above us. I know this is an interesting angle to talk about, but beautiful modern architecture, board from concrete walls, steel frame everywhere. I love these bifold lure designs that they have on exterior. Looks so stealth. And again, that primary bedroom, cantilevering primary bedroom. It's incredible. I mean, this house is so special. I think this is my favorite home here in Los Angeles so far, at least the homes that we've toured. Uh, 
I'm kind of speechless. Yeah, and uh, more about that primary bedroom in a minute. We have those details. We didn't really get to talk about them that much on the first level, but they really shine on the second floor, so. Without a doubt. In fact, let's go back inside, take the stairs, go check out the second floor where we have the primary bedroom suite. All right, everyone, let's go check out the second floor. And this floor is all dedicated to the primary bedroom suite. Again, staircase design looks gorgeous. Same wood panel ceilings. Now we have the bedroom on the other side, but this door opens up to the office slash den for the primary bedroom. Room is extremely spacious. We got a seating area here with a fireplace, built-in TV setup. You know, one button, you can have it covered and seamless the way it is right now. Right behind the seating area, we have the desk setup walls of glass opening up to these breathtaking views. I mean, Griffith Observatory all the way to downtown Los Angeles. You see the whole city. In fact, I'm getting distracted here. Since we can see the hillside, that's Forest Knoll right there. One of the most iconic properties we have in the city, right across. So you get some good views here. That we've toured actually. Yes. One of the most iconic properties we've toured, but it's kind of hard to see on my wide end lens, but I guess if you know, then you know. Then you know. Now, these sliding glass doors open up, a ton of details, but first, Mikey, I need you to come back to the other side. I mentioned it earlier, a lot of these refrigerator drawers, right? Another one right here, since there's an office. This is pretty cool. Nice little coffee bar, wet bar, and we like these doors. Oh yeah. That tucks into the walls. Nice addition. I'm jealous of this uh, office, this is pretty nice. Yeah, it's pretty good. All right, Mikey, why don't you go to the other side? I'm gonna actually open up the automatic glass doors. Let's go check out the patio space. Let's see, there you go. We have the automatic glass doors opening up to the patio space. By the way, that corner in the office also opens up. There's a Juliet balcony there. But I wanna take everybody to this outdoor space that's incredible. It's kind of like extension of the den. And before I talk about this outdoor space, I wanna point out the outdoor staircase here that goes down to the lower level patio off of the kitchen so you're in case you're having parties you have people coming in and out they can take the staircase come up to this landing or this deck rather than going through the house or your primary bedroom staircase this outdoor space is incredible it's really elevated and it actually kicks out all the way to the edge of the property line and i mean from here views are again incredible hollywood hills downtown la Century city wilshire corridor ocean it's breathtaking. Right in the center, we have a steel fire pit, seating area. This is a great place to sit down, watch a movie, enjoy. Let me take you guys back into the property. As I'm walking in, I'm already remembering other details I wanted to mention. Walls are very clean in terms of like outlets or designs. They recessed in all these uh, AC diffusers, a lot of the plugs or details to the floors or the ceilings. So we have these clean wall designs. These outlet covers that we talked about earlier. We have them throughout the house. Small powder room right here in case you have people here rather than them using your primary bathroom. They can use this powder room. Nice wallpaper design, sink, and Mikey, I need you to stay right there. There you go. We have this door right here to seal off the prim primary bedroom. And what's so cool about this door is that it doesn't have a header. So it's all open, letting natural light in. Change the windows on this side, again, bringing natural light to this hallway. And Mikey, let's go this way. This opening, they carried out the same steel detail, by the way. I'm getting distracted for all the details. For, opens, all, the, for all the right reasons. For all the right reasons. Opens up to the primary bedroom closet. Now, the owner is currently occupying this space, so we're gonna respect this privacy, not open these uh, cabinets, but you guys get the point. It's nicely decked out. Everything is paneled in. You have that seamless look hangers, drawers, everything you need. And we have more cabinets on this side. I can't show this, I'm pretty sure. Ready, Mikey? Oh, that's cool. Every primary bedroom closet should have a washer and dryer. This is like the best amenity. Yeah. It's such a convenience. All right, ready, Mikey? Pocket door, closing off the primary bathroom. So you have two access points to this bathroom, one from the hallway, main hallway, one from the closet. Freestanding tub, looking at these amazing views. And to give everybody a little bit of reference, we are right on top of the trellis design that we saw at the outdoor patio space on the, uh, on the main floor. Same wood panel ceilings. Right behind Mikey, we have the water closet. And on this side, we have the walk-in shower. Now, this walk-in shower is super cool. 
When you're looking at it, it's all open because the way they design these glass doors, both panels actually uh, swing, right? Yeah. So you have this open design. And although we're in Hollywood Hills and it's hard for someone to see through your bathroom and from the city level, they wanted to utilize the chimneys or the flues of the fireplaces as like a secondary screen and privacy shade uh, for your primary bathroom. And we have a Juliet balcony here, actually. This sliding door opens up so you can have the full outdoor shower experience here. Yeah, I would have never thought of using a chimney like that. Um, but I saw this shower earlier when the door was open and uh, it seems like it'd be a great shower to have. Yeah, without a doubt. Yeah. I mean, you have your shower head here, floating double vanity setup, LED lit mirror. This is great. All right, let's go back to the hallway. Now we have the primary bedroom on our left, but first, I can, let's check this out real quick. The bridge. Oh, yeah. So we have this bridge design that takes you to an additional outdoor space, again, for the primary bedroom. We can actually see the exterior cladding of this home, the steel plates a little bit closer here. I like this kind of stealth flat look and we get more amazing views, another fire pit. And this bridge, you guys may find this uh, cork flooring kind of interesting and it kind of continues to this section. That's the secondary staircase off of the only bedroom we have on the main floor. And this door opens up to the gym for the primary bedroom. Gym is very spacious, same flooring throughout. You got every equipment you need. Amazing, amazing views. A lot of times we were used to seeing these gyms on the lower level, but in this case, owner wanted to have that elevated uh, view experience. So he put it on the second floor. Uh, nice lighting throughout. Some built-ins, fridge set up here as well. And he wanted to have this cork flooring because he works out here. He utilizes this uh, span for his workouts. Yeah. And by the way, in the future, I can totally see someone enclosing this section, making it a second bathroom or secondary closet. This pocket door opens up to the amazing primary bedroom. This room out of all the primary bedrooms we have ever seen on this channel, without a doubt, is my favorite. That's a bold statement, but I can see why you say that. It looks very simple at first glance, but there's a lot of hidden features, amenities, and you can't beat these views. Without a doubt. I mean, the way it's been engineered, how it's like literally floating above the entire city, uh, it's certainly not the biggest primary bedroom we have ever seen, but it's just the right size. I love the warm tones with the hardwood floors, wood panel ceilings. In fact, I just recognize that they have the recessed lights right around the perimeter of the entire room. Just so seamless, so effortless, just the right size. We have the king size bed here. And now I wanna talk about some of the features uh, in this room or pretty much throughout the house. So we talked about these exterior lures that we have, bifold lures. And I wanted to show how they work here. There you go. This is how they fold. Currently we have them about, what, what do you think, Mikey? 30% closed? Yeah, yeah, something like that. And they tuck up all the way to the ceiling. And once they're closed all the way, or uh, tucked up to the ceiling, they give this really unique cantilever look from the outside. And once you put them down, they just serve as louvers and sunshades for the room and pretty much the house. Yeah, when they're up, they, they, they look like just part of the exterior kind of architecture. Um, Bingo. And when they're down, they look like just regular shades. Absolutely. Now we also have automatic shades throughout. Uh, and this is really cool. We have this automatic sliding glass doors also here, opening up this Juliet balcony to the amazing views. As if you weren't connected enough, you can kind of get rid of the sliding glass doors as well and get the breeze coming in. You have a, a projector that comes down from the ceiling. This is uh, breathtaking. This is outstanding. Yeah. So like I said, a lot of hidden details. I just said the projector screen in the ceiling. Behind uh, the bed, we have the actual projector that drops down. And uh, it's, it's just incredible. It looks really good at night. Without a doubt, my favorite primary bedroom out of all the homes we toured. And that wraps our tour for the second floor. And now let's fast forward a few more hours, wait for the sun to go down so we can see this place at night.
All right, everyone, that's it for the tour. Now, before we sign off, we talked about this earlier. We actually moved the dining room table to the outdoors, had a lovely dinner here with the owner, enjoyed these amazing views. By the way, these space heaters work great. And in terms of the house, it's a beautiful modern architecture. I love all the features that we saw throughout the day. These bifolding lure exterior shades are my favorite detail. And this home, without a doubt, is my favorite home here in Hollywood Hills. Big congrats to the architect, Tom Kundig, for doing a phenomenal job with the design. And I wanna thank all the listing agents, Rainey Williams, Brandon Williams, and Nusha Hagenbuch for allowing us to tour their amazing listing and share it with all of you. And I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give us a like. If you have any questions or input, as always, leave us a comment down below. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you guys next week.